Hey Sunnyside and welcome again to Shine Assembly. I'm back in school today. It's a Thursday. We've had a fantastic day in school. Really, really enjoyed being back and seeing all you wonderful children working so hard. So start assembly today with just keep going. You can do this. And I think you've proved to yourself, a lot of you have proved to yourself that at home, you can produce just as fantastic work at school as you can do at home. So we've been really, really proud. And the people in school, the children in school, again, have had another fantastic week. They're all missing you at home. You can believe me on that. They're talking about you a lot today. But I'll keep telling them it won't be long. It won't be long. So special mentions, awesome work. And how exciting was it on snow day as well? We haven't had a snow day for ages, it seemed. But I can't remember it being that thick ever in England anyway. And it was awesome. So we had a really fun day. So in school, you can see we've been doing wonderful art in year six. I look at them planets and the paintwork going into it, the sprinkling. Looks absolutely superb. I think that's a flying star or shooting star, should I say? And Keegan, he's always got that expression on his face, hasn't he? I don't know why. I remember him in my class. He always looks like he's uh, really deep in concentration now. And I think he's using a toothbrush there to make the stars. Wonderful job, you. Now, in the cherry blossom, I think, and cherry tree, they've been creating the Great Fire of London models. And I'm going to show you a few of them because I was so impressed with their creativity of how to represent this. So we've got one here made of Lego. And have you seen two better faces on a Lego character that fit with that just perfectly? Don't they? I think he's got a little hose pipe here trying to put them out. And he looks equally as terrified as him. So I don't know whose it is, but that is awesome. And this one goes a step further because this one actually is on fire. I think that may be Cody's brother in the background. I'm not sure, but if it is, wicked job. That is just fantastic. So they put all that effort into it. And just to show that it is the Great Fire of London, they burnt it, which I think is absolutely amazing. Another proud face here. Look at the effort that's gone into that. And the roof especially. It must have taken you a long time to cut out them black uh, rectangles and stick them on to represent the tiles. Yes, and it was snow day. There are photos flying around everywhere about snow day. But this didn't stop us, did it, on when we returned back to school on the Tuesday. And here are our acorns enjoying learning in the snow. How lucky are we in this country we get to do that? Home learning. I just love this picture because of his little desk. And he's obviously been using the number line that's been sent home. And I think he's been working on his power maths there. But that is just the greatest photo. It made me smile. I just think that is just so, so cute. But at the same time, so, so proud for their teachers to see just how hard he's working. What a great picture. Lockdown legends. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Will we find our first ever back-to-back -back lockdown legends? We will find out right about now. Oops. So let's start with, let's start with year six, shall we? And some absolute legend names in this one. Working from home in year six, Mighty Oaks on their Shobie account. I had a little flick through yesterday, just looking at some of their maths, and I was really impressed with the high standard of work that they've been producing. So year six, our lockdown legend waiting for their badge, which is here, is Vivian. So Vivian, you are our lockdown legend this week, and you will be celebrating alongside Keegan. And Miss Lee has been wowed by your reading in school, Keegan. So not only are you amazing at art this week, you are flying at your reading. Well than you. Oak class this week, tough one, but Miss Wint, under deep negotiations with her teacher, they've gone for another sunny side legend. And this one is for the one and only Florence. You have been startling at home and just producing outstanding work, they say. So well done to you. And for school, another hero of mine in school producing wonderful work. It's always lovely to see this person every day because they've always got a smile on their face. Ella Jane. 
Great job, Ella Jane. You are doing your teachers very proud. Year four. So Miss Bromyard and myself, mainly Miss Bromyard, has been giving you wonderful feedback on the uh, dojo. But I've had a little flick through as well, and I just couldn't not give this person one. They were so close last week. My top three last week, but they've snuck into first place this week. Our lockdown legend from home for remote learning is Philip. Philip Pop. Good job to you. I'm sure there's going to be champagne corks popping to celebrate in your house this weekend. And at school, this is Miss Harkshaw's decision. And they've gone for somebody who's kept up with the learning on Monday uh, from home and has had a great attitude in school all week. And that is for Daisy. Daisy Wiles, great job to you. You've done me proud when I've been at home this week. Year three, uh, working from home this week for responding to feedback really well. That goes to Zara. So Zara, well done to you. Fantastic job. And my style of the day today, when I was in school, actually, from year three, and this is for challenging herself, and that goes to Mimi, Amelia, Wally, well done to you. Come and get your badge from Miss Hawkshaw right now. Let's go to Cherry Tree. Now, this one, they've gone for two at home. They just couldn't decide. The first one, her name is Olivia. And it's Olivia J. Oh, I bet Olivia K is just heartbroken. But don't worry, because it's you, Olivia K. You are our second home remote learning winner for Cherry Tree. Fantastic job to the Olivia's. And from school this week, um, your teacher, Mrs. Miss Bayliss and Mrs. Ward, are extremely proud and impressed with Finlay. Finlay Hall, you are our shine badge winner. Well done. Collect your badge. Year one for Cherry Blossom, uh, remote learner, the lockdown legend is Lola. And in school this week, they had a really tricky decision to make, but they've just gone for Yasa. Yasa, you are the champion this week. Well done to you. And at home for the Acorns, really shining this week is Leo. And representing just as well as Leo is at home. But in school this week is James. So loads and loads and loads of winners there this week. An array of reasons, but ultimately it's because they have been working hard and have shown a great attitude, which we love to see. Well done all our winners. None of them, though, were winners last week. So it leaves us to next week. Can anybody be the first back-to-back -back winner? Okay, I'm going to leave you on this. This is just things I want you to think about that you're looking forward to. I've read somewhere that if you're looking forward to something, something, it raises your endorphin levels, which makes you feel better. Now, I know when I'm playing darts at home, I've got a darts room at home. I always imagine playing my friends in the pub when, I, when it all ends and going to Wales. We always go to Wales, to Pontins. I mean, it's a glorious place to stay. But there's 12 of us, we go every year, we just set up some dartboards and we play darts. I'm really looking to see some of my family that I haven't seen for a year, which is really sad, but it gives me some more excitement to look forward to. I'm looking forward to going to Amores in Beeston. If I save up enough money, we always treat ourselves once a year to go to Amores for a nice steak. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm just looking forward to loads of things. Looking forward to my uh, son seeing his friends and having birthday parties and going to the park and doing all them fun stuff so what are you looking forward to have a think see if you can think of three things you're really looking forward to and share them with your family or share them with your teacher when you get in school just just think of anything that you want to do because it will happen we are getting closer aren't we Okay, have a great rest of the week. Have a lovely weekend. I'll see you next week. Who is going to be our first back-to-back -back winner? We don't know. It could be you. So I will see you next Friday for our Shine Assembly. Bye, everybody.